I wanted an easy, simple but fully functional battery mode for my Mini 2 without compromise on safety. Let me show you how I did it. Hi guys, it's Oli here. I hope you are having a great day. In today's video I'm going to show how I finally cracked the nut regarding this Mini 2 battery mode. In my last video, if you remember, I was not impressed by the results. So I was thinking, how could I have unlimited capacity of battery on the drone without the extra added weight? So I decided to make this connector to plug those batteries you see on the right down corner, which I made in my earlier video to my, for my Mavic Mini, to connect those up, and not one, but four of them, to the drone. Now I can only manage this, of course, if uh, the batteries stay on the ground, because that's like a lot of added weight. This is how the adapter looks like. And the concept is that on that left side there is 12,000 mAh of external battery and these power cables, which if you don't know how to connect to the battery, you can check my video there on the right up corner between those time frames. So basically now the drone gets energy also from the battery pack on the ground. I know, I know that this is cheating, of course, this is not the idea here. Those batteries are only charged up to 80%. But what I want to see is what's happening if the added weight is not there as a problem. Like would the battery let the drone fly longer? or would it stop at the rated capacity? Because I know that the rated capacity of the battery cells in the factory battery pack is coded into the firmware of the PCB in the battery pack. So the battery and thus the drone knows how much capacity should the battery have. Now, if you have a look at the counters here, you see how ridiculously slow they are counting down? 11.45 until force landing, 44, 43, and it is stuck for another few seconds here. So it shows that uh, the drone understood that uh, the capacity is much bigger than it should be, but seemingly the PCB is not reporting any problem. And that can be as a reason that part of the charge is coming from those wires and they are not going through the, the battery's PCB. So as you see now, the test has superseded every previous test. We are at the 45 minutes mark soon and uh, it's just going strong. So with this uh, method, it has been proven that uh, there are no problems with the capacity. So it seems like it is just a dance between weight and capacity to find the optimal sweet spot for for achievable flight time now we are in low battery warning and the critical battery soon starts the auto landing yes but uh, note that those batteries were not fully charged and whatever it doesn't matter anyways the the point has been proven so of course i immediately ordered a lot of lipo cells all different capacities 2200 milliamp hours, 3.5 amp hours, 4.5 amp hours. Unfortunately, they haven't arrived, so I couldn't test them, but uh, it's pretty exciting to look into the future. So, with this test, it doesn't really matter how long did it took, but it was 1 hour and 12 minutes. That's pretty neat, I, I guess. Now, would this work to charge this whole setup? So, I plugged it on the charger. And now I explain why it works, because it does work, the charging also. So here is the factory battery. There are the plus minus connectors and there is this battery cell inside the battery pack. On the PCB, there is a, a measurement unit, let's put it like this, which looks at the amount of current going out or in the battery. From that current and knowing the capacity of the cell, the PCB on the battery can ca calculate around how much flight time is left. So this is how the drone connected to the battery gets this information and they can just cooperate. 
So when the current goes from the battery to the drone, this meter measures the current and starts to count down those milliamps, milliamp hours. And then we have a counter. This is a quite a current load, so the PCB understands that, okay, I'm, I'm being discharged with a pretty heavy rate here. But if I connect an additional battery from outside, you see the drone takes the same amount of current, but now it comes from two different sources. So the meter in the factory battery pack thinks that, okay, we are not being drained so fast, so our estimated flight time is actually longer. Now, you will see that it calculates the flight time based on the, the milliamp hours and what can be easily seen that the countdown slows down. So the best metric to understand how much flight time is left is actually the battery percentage because that's a fact. So, of course, I decided that whatever I just have home LiPo cell, I will have to give it a try. These are old LiPo cells. You have seen it in my Mavic Mini video. They are really old. They have been beaten quite heavily, been hot. One started a little bit even to puff, but I just didn't care. I wanted to try just to prove the concept, how it goes. You know, same safety procedures, the cardboard, the cardboard. So I make this pack and my, my hope is that I can extend at least the flight time with something. And that is going to be on the top of the drone, like in my earlier video. I just decided to captain tape these connectors also, safety first really. I don't have at home too much LiPo cells because I always worked with lithium ion cells. So that's why I had to order them and it's such a pity that they haven't arrived. Anyways, of course some Velcro and then it goes on the top of the drone. It's a neat setup, I think. And then I put it on charger and it just worked fine. It charged. I don't have a hub, but I do believe that it would work with the hub also. And you see 879 and it stopped charging. Okay, let's test this. 100% charge. Taking off exactly at one minute. Now for all those who are not interested to see and hear my commentary, basically you can just go to the 10 minute mark to find the result. So it says we're gonna have 32.24 minutes of flight time left. We will see about that. And here is the charge of the battery. 8.53 so everything seems fine the drone struggles of course a little bit more by the added weight but not as much as when it did uh, with the lithium ion cells uh, in my last video so that's an absolute plus and uh, of course I noticed also that those cells are also old which I used in my last video this is how we look at the 75% battery capacity mark and the flight time we have already 10 percent 10 minutes completed this proves to be a little bit inaccurate due to the lipo cells on the top of the drones discharge curve is different than the one in the drone so in this first 10 minutes a little bit bigger percentage of the of the current came from them so 50 percent mark 18 minutes and 20 seconds that's more accurate so now we are in a balanced uh, way of discharging from the two battery packs. Passing the 25 minutes mark here. So that's basically 27 it was, if I remember correctly, the factory capacity of the bat battery when it was brand new, like really the second charge. And first came the low battery warning at 30, 28 and a half minutes, which is pretty cool, I think. So you see all the functions are working, even the battery temperature, not the one on the top, of course, but it's anyway more prone to be cooled by the air. Critical low battery, 31, 40. So even the battery temperature, all the, te all the charge warnings, the forced auto landing, this is the one which you can still keep going. 
So that's what I'm doing here. So all these functions are working, really no compromise on safety measures at all. And uh, we are at the 35 minutes mark now. And uh, of course, everything good ends at a certain point. And that's all, 36.20. I think that's pretty impressive. And as I told, those cells which I ordered haven't arrived yet. So there will be some additional testing on that in the next videos. So guys, if you have anything to say or if you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you're interested in the subject and please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.